you know, just as we were leaving the photograph uh, that I just took of Joe, I just saw the beautiful light on Sasha's face here. What I'm using here is look at this tungsten light we see. That's my key light. And you're saying, hold on one second, Dave. You're talking about this on-camera flash being your light source. Well, it's going to be a light source, but it's not going to create the key light. That's what it's done in every single lesson up to this point. But you know what? It can still improve our image for us, too, if we know how to work it. So here's the game plan here. I'm going to actually pose Sasha to this light source right here. Sasha, go ahead and just turn. Yep. And then eyes back to me. I'm turning off my flash here. And there you go, just like that again. And when I look at my photograph, it's pretty darn contrasty here. Sasha, let me have you just turn a little bit more. Uh, just a finger, however you were just so fingers together here, however you were worked it there just a bit. That's it. Yep. Turn your nose away from me a little bit more so I can get the light in the eyes. Perfect. That's perfect. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Good, good, good. Again. And I think I might be, let's <laughs> I'm fighting my exposure here. Uh, it's pretty dim with that one light. I'm going to kick my ISO up to 1200 here. Take it again. See what we're looking like here. That looks a whole lot better to me. If I do a quick check of the histogram, it tells me that I'm in the ballpark with this particular image. So don't move. That's perfect. Notice how the light's in her eyes. Bring your eyes only. Don't move your face. Just bring your eyes only one inch. Nope, back we were. Perfect. Eyes a little higher right there. I'm going to go in close here. I'm playing around with those lines behind her on those arches. Okay. But when I'm looking at this image, one thing that's striking me is, boy, is it contrasty. What can we do to soften the contrast? Well, I'm going to use my on-camera flash again. I'm going to bounce it off the ceiling. I'm going to use my wide-angle diffuser right here. And I should have mentioned to everybody that I'm actually on the Kelvin setting of my camera. So I didn't say that earlier, but we're using the tungsten light right here. I'm using the Kelvin setting of my camera. My Kelvin setting is adjusted to 2800 Kelvin. Everybody's Kelvin setting is different with everybody's cameras. Sometimes people use a tungsten setting. I find that the tungsten setting on this Canon camera is balanced for 3200K, and it makes the images just come out way too warm for me. So I've got my Kelvin set to 2800, which gives me a nice, pleasing, warm tone. But I know you're asking, okay, so how am I going to cut down the contrast in the image we were just looking at? Well, I need to fill the shadows, don't I? Well, the shadows are going to be filled with me bouncing the light off the ceiling here. But what I'm going to do is I have a little tungsten filter right in my pocket here. <laughs> it's pretty beat up and used. But I'm actually going to filter my flash right here just by laying that in there. And now what I have here is now I have a tungsten flash. I literally have the color temperature of my flash balancing pretty much the, co te the color temperature of the scene, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and get a couple now. And also, I've kind of pre-adjusted my flash uh, to just give me the ratio that I want uh, just to save time here. So I've got, I've got my flash set to manual, not ETTL, but it's set to manual, and it's given me about 1 32nd of the power that it normally puts out. Let's go ahead and take the photograph. Turn your head a little bit more. Eyes up again. I want to just the eyes are lighting up. Perfect, perfect. Eyes back to me. Chin up a little bit more. I want to keep that light in the eyes. Turn your head a little bit more. And now the secret, tilt your head this way. Turn your nose away from me some more. A little bit more. Watch the nose shadow. Chin down a little bit more. Perfect. Look at our beautiful loop lighting we have on our face right here. Great. Just touch your chin with your hand, if you will. Touch. There you go. Fingers together just very gracefully and so forth. Okay, just work it just a little bit more, maybe a lean on the, I'm going to see your whole face, but now i got to get you, yep, <laughs> there, that's fine, fingers together, a little tilt of the head, you're doing great, turn your nose away from me again so I can get the light on the face, more, more, perfect, chin up a little bit more, tilt a little bit more, turn your nose that way a little bit more, I want to get that light in the eyes, more, almost there, perfect, I see them with this lighting up, great, again, happy, happy, great, chin down a little, good, eyes to me. And we can take a look and we just see how the lighting, how my on-camera tungsten fill is just giving me a real pretty light on her face, too. One more. Let's bring the bouquet up by your face. When we have now we're cooking. I like how that worked because now I can literally have her head tilted backwards. And now when I bring your, I like your hand up there. Great. Tilt your head up a little bit more. Eyes back to me. Perfect. Turn your nose away from me a little bit more so I can reduce the shadow. Perfect. Look at the loop light on her face. Beautiful hand position. Flowers are looking great. Happier, happier, chin down just a fraction. No, chin back up because the light has to do that for me. Bring those fingers together just a little bit more. Perfect. You got it. 
You got it. Great, great, great. Chin, lips together some more. Lips together. Chin down ever so slightly. Good, good. Still working it. Good, 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 good. Great. Last couple. Here we go. Turn your head back towards me a little. Lips together. Good, good, good. And you can relax. Again, just a really neat image, a series of images of her. And again, still a little warm with all our warm light right here. But again, instead of this being a blue fill, it comes in nicely and matches the color of our ambient light that we're shooting with. So here, what are we doing here? Just to recap, we're not using the on-camera flash as a key flash. We're using it as a fill flash. We're actually softening the shadows of the harsh lighting that we had right here with our, sing our single point light source falling on uh, Sasha's face. So anyway, just another little technique that we can use. And again, we're just saying, where's our light coming from? In this case, the tungsten. Where do we need to, what do we need to do with shadows? Reduce the intensity of the shadows a bit. We do this with our little filter right here and our on-camera flash. And just another great little tool, uh, a great little technique that we can get out of this little flash here too.